All right, what's up everyone? And this is the hell you've been waiting for. You want to see one of these miserable house cleanouts I have to do? You have no idea. I came yesterday and dumped 300 pounds of salt rock on the driveway to get it like this. And you know, it doesn't look like enough uh, of a grade, but it was covered in ice yesterday. I couldn't even make it down it. So today, we're coming and bagging up all the small stuff. I had to put my tire chains on just to make sure I could get out of here because this is some of the stuff that's left here. These people, I don't know if it got foreclosed. I don't, I, I don't know the story, but this was actually a, um, for a real estate. I deal with a lot of real estate uh, companies and they give me these uh, house cleanouts. So I got to haul all this stuff away. This plow is what I'm going to tackle today. Ratty old plow. I'm not even... I'm not even thinking about saving it, and I don't really care. Those are bags of leaves, bicycles, and all this stuff's frozen in the ground. Remember, it's been really cold here in Pennsylvania. My last video I showed you it was, guys, it was like minus five. So I got all this construction debris that's frozen. Like, it's just going to be a miserable time to do. But these uh, cleanouts for the banks, uh, insurance companies, and real estate uh, agents, you know, these are big money cleanouts. And being that, you know, the weather has been really bad and this is not an ideal conditions with the ice and snow and the cold and there's no heat in this place. And these are some of the things you walk into. Now, I posted a few pictures to show you guys. But it's like they just left everything. That's a closet. My daughter's picking stuff up. Couches, all kinds of stuff. So when you do these cleanouts, you got to get all this trash up. I don't know about this. I don't know if that's worth anything. Probably not because they left it. But they left all their food. You want to talk about nightmares? I'm going to do it real quick. You ready? One, two, three. Take your screenshot. Take your screenshot. That's, that's freaking disgusting. I got to take a minute. But when you do these, you got to clean all these cabinets out. Like I have to do all this stuff and this is why this these cost so much money is because of the hours. Then you got the dump fee and this actual uh, clean out, I usually don't go this far, but this lady's a friend of my wife's and my father-in-law and they couldn't find anybody out this way to do it. This is an hour and 45 minutes from my house one way. So it's a three hour tour every time I have to come out here. And this is my second time and I haven't even done anything yet other than salt the driveway. And we shoveled it yesterday, but I got stuff out here. Couches, that table's kind of, eh, recliner. See, I don't take anything from these houses because I don't like bed bugs, and I don't, I have to chop all this ice out to get these poles out. And there's a patio set thing there. There's nothing else around the house, but all this stuff, that, this garage is dark. I'll have more video in it. That is some of the, a couple pictures I posted. There's house garbage piled in there, and there's probably a, a 20 yarder just in there. And you got this one, old TV, mattresses, lamps, garbage everywhere, just random stuff, closets full of clothes. That bathroom's dark. You got to empty out all the closets you can't really see in there. This is the easiest room of all. It's just some random things, closet, coat hanger, stuff on the back of the door. There's no little bathroom back here I didn't notice. But I got to empty out these all medicine cabinets. And like, like look, there's still towels hanging like somebody was just going to you know, come back and just, or they were living here. This has got, I don't know, three mattresses on it. Got some yucky stuff here. We don't look at that. You know, you always find um, some adult entertainment. But another closet, not full, but a bunch of stuff in it. Stuff around the bed. So these are these house cleanouts I talk about, and these trash outs, a lot of guys call them. They're... They're pretty easy, and when coronavirus hit, a lot of people were um, moving up from the city, from New York, New Jersey, and wanted to get out. And a lot of these houses that were vacant like this, or that where people had renters in, this might have been a renter. I don't a situation. I'm not entirely sure, but um, oh god, like there's house garbage here. I'm not gonna get into too much detail because I'm blocking the light. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get that garage door open. I'm not gonna battle it today. But there's garbage, and in this room here, there's a dryer, and it's full of garbage. There's stuff around this. There's a freezer right there with food in it. Right here, I'm sorry. 
And against this back wall is more construction debris. There's two brand new toilets. There's totes up here. There's totes in this room. But, I mean, it doesn't look like much. I didn't really look in all these cabins because I know they all got crap in them. Oh, yeah. Just just all, all random stuff. And I got to get rid of that trailer and stuff outside, this refrigerator. I have to empty the food out because I'm not going to do that to my scrap guard. I don't do that. I mean, I might tape it shut because it smells so bad because I don't want to get any of the stuff in there, any of the nasty, I almost said a bad word. Almost, um, I don't want to get that stuff on me, but this is a, this is probably a, with the garage, probably about an easy, you know, 40 yards. I mean, there's stuff outside too. So, I mean, I wanted to post this up because this is what we're going to be working on the next couple days and I have no help. My, my brother's been sick. My, my other helper's been sick. Um, and it's just, I tried finding other guys to work and it, nobody really wants to do this stuff. I mean, the first thing I, they asked me is like, oh, I'll do anything. And then I tell them what we're doing. And they're like, oh, what? I'm like, yeah, it's bagging stuff up and helping me move couches and stuff like that. And they just, I, I don't know. I, they, I lost so many people want things for free in this world. You know, I tried getting people to help me, but everybody wants to get paid at the end of the day. So if I brought them here today, what would happen is we would come here today, start cleaning this stuff out and start doing this. And I pay them at the end of the day personal pictures and they won't show up. They don't show up the next day because and as soon as they got money in their pocket or they realized the job was crap, they stuck it out for one day. And they're like, I'm not coming back here. Like every time I come here, it's an hour and a half. So just in, just in the three hours of driving, it's costing me, you know, 70, $80 one way. And I'm coming back with my big trailer. Cause I got to need to load up all this garbage. We're going to try to bag up what we can today. I, I just, I didn't get here till, um, a little bit later than I wanted to because this community I, this is in is one of those private communities. They think they're all uppity and stuff. And, you know, you can't work in here until, you know, 830 and you can't park on the road. And it's just, it's just not making it easy on me for this. So, you know, with the, with the weather and everything, it's just, it's just been absolutely a miserable time. And I got to get started on this stuff outside. My daughter's been bagging stuff up. We just got here. I had to put my tire trees on, like I said. But, and I got freaking paint cans here. I don't even know if this door is going to open. I might actually open. I'm more worried about this stuff. It's supposed to get warm next couple days, but we got some construction debris. I mean, there's an easy pickup truck load there. And there's bags. Bags of house garbage and stuff under. This is a, a, a metal door. There's a door frame back there. Just... Another couple bags of stuff, frozen stuff to the ground. But I'm going to get this plow into my truck. I'm going to um, gonna make this like a four-part video because I feel I'm going to be here a lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my truck around, get my chain on it, and see if I can tip this plow and get it to where it's here. And then I can back my truck to it and use the lift gate and use the come along. And then maybe back it into one of these trees or something and slide it into the back of the truck. It's going to be a fun, fun thing. I mean, that plow's got to at least be with, with the frame close to 800 to 1,000 pounds. And I'm running that right to the scrapyard because I'm closer to the scrapyard than I am my house. And I'm not double handling anything. So, all right, we're going to get started here. I'll, I'm not going to film myself loading up. I can't hold the camera. And it's probably going to take me a good half hour or so. So, we're going to get started. Unless the neighbor's staring at me. I see we already got a Karen here. So... You know why they call them Karens, right? Because they care about stuff that's none of their business. But all right, I'm going to see if I can get this plow loaded up and I'll be back. All right, so the neighbor came over. You know, nice old man. I thought it was a Karen. Uh, so he told me that he wanted his ladder back. The guy borrowed his ladder and never gave it back to him. So I gave him his ladder back. I figured I'd be nice to him. And he offered to help me if I needed a hand. So I got the garage door open. The old man helped me get it open. So as you can see, there's... A lot of crap in here. It looks like a decent table for a garage. There's two of these nice chairs I might keep for a camper. But there's just a plethora of crap. And, you know, when you do these clean outs, you find a landfill or a transfer station. They charge you by the ton. So when you get stuff like toilets and heavy construction debris and stuff like I said out here, that you know, that's... Um, 
wet and, and been in the snow, that stuff's going to be heavier. So take that into consideration when you're pricing these out. You know, don't undercut yourself. I, I don't tell them a price. I tell them that my big, you know, 40, uh, 35, 40 yard trailer, you know, goes by. I, I give them a price for three tons. And just for the garbage removal, that is $1,200. And then I add fuel, taxes, miscellaneous, like garbage bags, gloves, whatever else I, I come across that it costs me like $70 in rock salt, but showing some of the other stuff. Look at that black mold. Yummy. Tastes like death. But, oh, door's closing. But there's just random stuff. This whole thing is full of Beanie Babies. I got an old crusty dryer. Another heater up there. But now that I got the door open, you can see. I mean, and just what's in this garage minus the metal. You know, there's probably a good half a 10-yard dumpster or maybe, maybe close to, you know, almost a full 10-yard dumpster. So when you do these, you know, you got to price them accordingly. And you got, I mean, these couches and stuff, they're not heavy, but they take a lot of bulk. Like there's mat those mattresses I showed you. Usually we throw mattresses on top just to hold all the small crap in. You know, you don't have to bag the stuff, but it was just the way it was easier to do it today. But... I got, I got the door open, so I wanted to show you that was in here, and I wanted to give you an update on what the neighbor said. He said the people were renters, and they didn't pay rent the whole for like two years. It took them to get them out because they had kids with, and coronavirus, which I'm not surprised that happens a lot. But boom, here you go. I used a winch. I used my uh, thing. I, I pulled it out with the truck. I flipped it over, and I backed it into the tree and pushed it into the truck. And then my daughter held the pipe to put a little pressure, and I backed it, slid right in. So I'm going to throw a couple more of this metal and some bike songs. I got to go to the scrapper to get rid of this stuff just because I got to go there because I'm not bringing this home and unloading it. But All right, let's see what this big plow weighs. Put a little cut in here. You're just going to see me loading it up, but this is after the day after I worked. So we weighed in at 81.60. All right, snowplow slid off pretty easy. It loaded easy, so it slid off easy. Well, you won't see that yet in the video, but I loaded it easy. So we weighed 81 something, and we weighed 75.60. So it weighed 600-ish uh, pounds. All right, so as you can see, everything's starting to... Um, melt now so we're gonna end the video here you see we bagged up a bunch of stuff got a bunch of this stuff going and um i'm going to be back tomorrow to load up the rest of the contents of um of this house so if you like this uh content and you want to see how much garbage we actually get out of here i'll bring my big trailer over and uh we'll start loading this stuff up tomorrow so remember to like comment and subscribe and um hit the bell icon you know comment you know what you want to see in the next video if you want to know what the weight is how much it costs me to get rid of this stuff you know give me some feedback on this video um and like i said well we're, we're going to be back here tomorrow because we got to finish this we're going to make a couple part video it's probably gonna be three maybe four parts because i got to get this and i got to get the scrap metal out and everything and then do a final picture taking you know because I, I document everything so um yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video, man. Peace.